single cell formula for yearly sales report, a line break for each year. Our goal is to be able to add data below a table and have our single cell formula update. Control V, and there's our report in a single cell. Now we want to see how to do this three different ways. In yesterday's video, we used this dynamic array formula pointing to the date column. And notice there are hidden rows. And we use the sum ifs. Our first formula will base our single cell report off of the dynamic arrays that are already spilled in the cell. We'll start by using the text join function. And the key is the delimiter, because for each one of these rows, I need to force a line break. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. In double quotes, you can use the keyboard Alt-Enter. That actually puts a literal character for line break, N double quote. I don't like to do that because it adds that extra line. Or we can use the character function. And if we say character 10, that's line break, comma. The default is ignore empty, comma. The text, in double quotes, I'll say sales for, end double quote. And we want to join it to the spilled array. And we use the pound symbol to refer to the whole spilled array. So that's sales for the year. And then we join it to, in double quotes, we'll put an equal sign. Close that off with a quote, ampersand. And I want these values, but I want to format them. So we use the dollar function. That'll add currency number formatting, the top cell pound. Close parentheses, close parentheses, and you're not going to believe it. So when we Control Enter, that's our formula. Now if we want a report in a single cell that's not linked to the cells, well, we'll do it two different ways. First, we'll cheat. I'm going to copy this, Control C. I'm loading it to the clipboard. If your clipboard's not showing, click that button. And then we're going to go down, Control C. I'm loading it up. We'll copy this one. Now I'm going to come over here, and very carefully I'm going to click on Text Join. And then where I see that E5 pound, I'm going to put Sort. The trick is, is that that right there is referring to, well, the sum ifs. But inside the sum ifs, it's referring to that column right there. So we'll double click the first argument of date, put in our Sort, double click, click Sort. And that formula will work, Control-Enter. But guess what? We're in the new era in Office 365 Insider Edition. We have the new amazing let function. The way that let can help us is we had to repeat that little bit a number of times. So we're going to copy all of that, Control-C without the equal sign, equals let. The name for our variable that we're going to use inside the let function and only inside this formula, year, comma. This is where we'll put sort. So I'm going to click. So that's the only time we have to use it. The rest of the time now we can refer to that with year, comma. And now we can put our formula. I'm going to click on this monster formula over here. There it is right there for the first sort and unique. I type here, and watch what happens. That's the icon for a defined name, but this name is only defined inside this formula, tab. But then inside of the first argument of date, I click, type year. Next date, click on year, year, tab. And now we want to come to the end and close off for let, close parentheses. Now let. We used one variable. The name of the variable was year. There's the formula associated with year. And there's our calculation, where we used our variable. Control-Enter. Now if I come down here, Control-Asterisk, Control-C. When I paste below, Control-V. By the way, in the last video when we did this, only the year 2022 showed up because there were some rows hidden. But there we go. This updated. But what happened here? Well, the row just needs to be a little bit bigger. All right, here's your bonus formula. Date is the name for retrieving the values from that column. And rather than a calculation in the third argument, we can define our second variable, sales. 
which represents the sales column. Here's the third variable name and the formula for that variable. And then we list our formula where we use our three variables. All right, we saw one, two, three, four different ways to create a single cell report for yearly sales. And of course, we saw the amazing new let function. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. And if you want to learn more about these amazing dynamic array formulas, check out these videos.